hey everyone welcome back to my channel so what am i up to today oh my gosh i have been really loving growing plants and rehabbing plants in water so i have been contemplating propagating my monstera that i recently put outside and it's been giving me a lot of new growth since i put it out here i got this new leaf right here i got this new leaf right here uh, I got this one and I got this one. It has some new growth points coming in as well. And I was thinking about chopping it up and propagating it and having those cuttings live in water on the inside and this will just stay outside. I'm really excited about that. So that's what I'm gonna be doing today. All right, so here I have my shears. Now spring is the best time to do these projects. However, I live in South Florida, so we don't really have a season, but <laughs> a lot of plants are pushing out new growth right now because we're getting a lot of rain and the humidity is perfect. No, at first I wanted to do this part right here. Like you could see there is this really beautiful, nice node right here with an aerial root growing. So I was thinking to do right here and then it would just continue to grow from here. But I am loving the way these two leaves look on the outside because it doesn't have a lot of leaves that looks cute yet because it's like bouncing back. So what I'm thinking to do is to do this little part right here with these three leaves especially since i'm going to be putting it inside in a jar so that's what i think i'm going to be doing i'm going to chop right let's let's let me untie this because let me show you how you propagate these aerial are these aeroids all right so you see right here we have like right here is a node like I can feel right here, there's a bump. There is a node right there. Let me see if I could show you. Like, yeah. Let's see. There's a node right there. So, I am going to... There's one right here. There's one right here. So, what I'm going to do is... And there's like a, a node right here as well. So, what I'm thinking is I will just cut below this node or even above because then it was no i'll cut below it and then it will start to produce from here because there's a node right here so once it has nodes other nodes it will continue to grow so that's what i'm going to do i am going to cut it right in between those two nodes right there where is my share so right here actually it would be a lot easier to cut right here because it's thinner but I want enough node just in case it starts to rot. So I think I'm gonna cut below this node right here and then it will start to shoot from here. So yeah, I need two hands for this, but I want you to see what I'm doing. Our, our bigger shear would do it. Ah, there we go. All right. Let me get it up. That wasn't scary at all. <laughs> I am confident that it will grow back. It will continue to push out growth. That's why I'm not afraid. All right. So here we have it. This is it. It has, see, I almost chopped a node right here. Oh my gosh. I almost chopped this node right there, you can see. But it has more nodes, like there are nodes See, there are little nubbins like nodes. Look, here's a node right. There's a node right there. So I'm going to be putting this in water. I'm going to take you inside a few minutes while I put it in water. But yeah, this is going to just stay right there and continue to grow. Doesn't see? It doesn't really make much of a difference because these were so tiny, anyways. So it's still looking cute. I'm sure this is gonna give me a new leaf soon. It's actively growing. All right, so let's go put this one in some water. All right guys, so I was just about to go put these in water and I realized some speckling on this plant right here. 
and uh, you know i was inspecting i just broke it <laughs> i was gonna chop it anyways but it looks like there could be some spider mice like look like you can see you see right there you see those little tiny things yeah look it crawling right there look 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 crawling look you see so i'm gonna chop it i'm gonna chop this leaf i'm not taking any chances i'm gonna chop it i'm gonna treat the plant as well yeah to be safe i'm gonna treat it and it's like beside my other plants as well so i'm gonna chop this leaf this one looks like that as well some speckles like you see i don't like the way that looks so i'm gonna chop these two leaves they are the older leaves anyways and it's giving me new growth i'm gonna go ahead and chop them and, and then i'm gonna spread out the plant so this is what it's looking like after i chopped it now the thing with monsteras is that they are famous for pushing out a new leaf like right from where you chop it like right from where i chop it it's uh, it's done that before for me so i'm not worried and a lot of times when you prune back plants it just encourages new growth all right so this is the vase that i'm going to be putting it in it's just a vase that i got from the dollar tree and look how cute it looks in it like look at that beauty i haven't done anything yet. i haven't put any water or anything and you know you could put stones in it i want the bare root vibe so that's what i'm gonna go for so i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna wash the leaves like especially since i found uh spider mites on the on the other older leaves these are fine but i'm not taking any chances i'm gonna take the opportunity to scrub it while it's in while i have it at the sink and then i'm gonna fill it up and show you what it looks like all right so there you have it you see the water level is just a little bit above the node i'm not gonna put it all the way up to the stem you know i think it will be fine but that is what it's looking like i did shower it i even take some of my my dawn dish soap and just wash it almost like an insecticide also so this should be fine um but it's looking cute i am loving it i even take off these little things because pesto like to hide in those so now i'm gonna find it's forever home and i am going to be updating you guys once it starts to root and at that time i will also show you the other plants that i have living in water because i've been enjoying having plants living in water i've been enjoying looking at the roots and also the it's just easier like <laughs> you don't have to worry about root rot once the plant is established you don't have to worry about root, root rot or anything like that it just keeps flourishing and flourishing you don't have to worry about humidity because the water just don't evaporate and give the plants oh my gosh so i've been loving that <laughs> i'll definitely show you the other plants that i have living in water then um i am going to put some fertilizer in here and put it in its spot so let's go do that right now all right so i think this is a good spot for it it is right here by my terrarium this light comes on automatically so it will be getting light and it's just right here on my my ugly Nima wall of fame <laughs> i have a lot of my ugly Nimas here but that's nowhere near all of them but i think it looks nice right there like look at it it's the perfect spot all right I don't wanna 